work? Yeah, I had no idea actually. We had been working with police previously and they said that they would advise us of a date uh, when they had um, planned on coming through. Uh, obviously they did not give us those details and this morning I woke to find uh, that after my morning stroll I was coming home and we found a hundred or so uh, police officers, uh, Fletcher employees uh, and uh, Māori wardens on our doorstep uh, asking us to leave our whenua. Pale, 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 politician Can you make a right decision for all of us? For all of us Pale, 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 politician Can you make a right decision for all of us? today just to really listen uh, to uh, immerse ourselves in what's going on out here and using it as a catalyst to have conversation in our family uh, about um, New Zealand history uh, and particularly the untold parts of our story. Oh, So basically, Koriroi Te Reo Pākehā has uh, come here to Tautoko uh, Kaupapa that's happening here. Because I met um, Pāne about three months ago, I come over just for, you know, and then the Kazi, I says, Kas, because we come from up north, because we're going to Tautoko, you know, just offer our support. I come here, I'll be straight up with you, my brother. I come here, we need to go back to the Pākehā slave camps for the liberation of the people and the oppression. Um, however, their co-popper here is not to do that, so I respect their you know? But for me, um, there are some brothers who want to do that, and for us to rush the police lines, but um, it's up to them. Uh, I'm the friend of who's here. So, yeah, so, kia ora, bro. Uh, out here. Good to be surrounded by all these um, amazing people. Um, yeah. This land will never be developed apparently. Um, so we're here at Iku Matao and um, I'm just here on behalf of everyone in the community. I'm not fully supporting as uh, such. Um, this is my only first day here just to get familiar with the locals and stuff and right now it's really hitting me to the point where I can't even imagine what's going on further out there. 
blocking barricades and stuff, it does seem real and it does seem intimidating, but we're not giving up for the fight for sure. It's our power and our own right as Tangata Whenua to really stand with hold the grounds that regardless if we're not if I'm not from here, I'll still hold grounds for the people of my, my um, you know own land, the ones who were raised like me, brought up like me. Yoda, Yoda. Uh, here to help with the co-papa. Yep, setting up a stage down there. Got a few artists playing. Should be awesome. And how's your feelings about what's happening? It's good, it feels like we're winning. Yep. Kia ora. I'm Kirsty Nathan. Um, we're here to um, walk together as one and you know as Iwi, but not just for ourselves. We're here to support the co-papa, what's happening. We're not just about ourselves. But yeah, um, we just support this co-couple today. My name is Olivia, we've come down from Whangare to be here to support our whanau here. Um, the Waido is amazing, it's, it's great to be here, it's great to be aware of different methods of how to protest or be a protector of the land. Um, and again, it's so beautiful to see so many beautiful places, young people, and um, to be here to support one another as we should, to unite on sacred land. Um, I'm here to support Seoul and protect Iwi Mātau um, for the con uh, preservation of this land um, and I hope for the full return of it to them and the Iwi. I think um, we should right the initial wrong which was that it was stolen in 1863 and anything else that came afterwards is something that the government can sort but yeah my thing is that Right the initial wrong, return it, and yeah, we'll be all good. So I'm here to support that, co Papa. Bro, I'm here because, it, like, I'm here for the people here, and um, just to support our indigenous people, our Maori people, and um, the iwi here, and um, hopefully, hopefully we get a positive outcome and a successful outcome and a peaceful outcome for, for everyone, for all parties. You know what I mean? I think that's the, the most important thing. Um, just to nurture our, our young ones and make sure everyone's safe. So yeah, and just I think justice is the main thing as well. So yeah. Kia ora, I'm here today again at Uhu Matau to celebrate the resistance and the strength of our people protecting our whenua. Um, it's become clear to see all around the country that we are rising up uh, against the injustice of crown colonisation exploitation of our land and our people and we are saying no more. Well, I'm here to join in with um, the hurry core of everyone here. Here I think my people. Why did I just say that to me? I am one that greets you this morning. Uh,
my head on no one get up me new get the land back but doesn't belong shouldn't have been once confiscated should have been given back to the people to make their first choice not to sell or sell it to commercialize it and send it on I think that whole process and I, I uh, don't talk about what um, Hani is doing I know there's a uh, there's a, a corridor around the Kumato and I support their Fakaro as well. Pani is justified in, in making a stand. It's beautiful. And uh, we're here to toast for their Fakaro. I think it's good for the next generation to understand their Fakaro as well. So that should it happen again, they can make a stand themselves. That's why, that's why we're here, bro. We believe in supporting the right thing. Yeah, what's going on here is the right Oh, this is great. Um, it's been uh, good that our people are rallying around the Kopapa because it's got to stop. You know, Maori against Maori is not good. But underlying all that is about mana uh, We lose that, we've lost everything. So, you know, I'm hoping the government will help us, uh, give some guidance and, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's the people that matter, not them, but um, they still have a role to play out. I mean, recognizing it and then setting up some structures within which we can uh, disagree with each other about the land and sort it out peaceably. So, yeah, it's... Uh, so encouraging to see the thousands of people here. Yeah, our school's been here, our marae's been here, our mōrāko's been here, they've all been here. Just to pay their respects to the Koko. So thank you, it's good. Hey, I, um, I'm uh, Tangata Whenua here, I've been here all my life, I've been growing up here all my life. Uh, uh, one of the stories that I've been told from when, my, when I was a grand, when I was a ch child is that uh, there was a story being told to me from uh, my grandmother saying uh, there was a story, Hape and Tamuri. Uh, Hape rode the Tamuri, he was a uh, stingray. He, uh, he wasn't mind, body and soul, he had a club foot. Uh, tame, tam, uh, he had a club foot, he couldn't leave the uh, island where all the other warriors, um, where all the other warriors came on the Wakatainui to, uh, to Aotearoa. What happened, they come to the Manukau heads. Uh, my, my man, Hape, he karakia to uh, Tangaroa. Te atua o te Tangaroa, uh, te atua o te Moana. Uh, and uh, Tangaroa gifted him a, a stingray. And so he can come to uh, Aotearoa. And the uh, stingray's name was Tamure. And uh, the guy's name is, uh, is uh, Hape. So what happens, he stands on the hill just on the side here. It's uh, Pukitap up a hill. He stands on the, stands on the hill. And he just there, hook it up up a hill, and you can see the hill there. It's looking out towards the Manukau heads. Okay, so he can see the Waka Tainui coming into the head. So he's already here from uh, the stingray. Tangaro's already gifted him a stingray. So he's here. He stands on hook it up a hill, and he karangas the Waka, the, uh, the Tainui Waka in the Manukau heads. So what he's doing there, he's karanging the the, um, the Waka Tainui in. They can't believe that he's already here. So what happens? That's how we get the street, Karanga Hape Road, okay, K Road. That's how we get K Road, because of this man. He stood on Pukitap up a hill, he Karanga the Tainui Waka into the Manukau heads. And that's how we get the story. If you look on the marae down in Iomato, look on the marae, on the apex of the marae, you can see in our carvings, the story being depicted in our wood, in our whakaino, in our carvings. So if you um, don't understand the story of why we're here and why we are doing what we do, it's been handed down from our forefathers, from our grandmother to me, to my grandson. It's been handed down, the story's been handed down, and that's why we are here today, to make sure that our stories never get forgotten. And, um, and, and at the same time, to provide a peaceful process and provide a, a, a peaceful protest and make sure it's a peaceful, positive, and keeping it, um, keeping it for, uh, you know, so we don't, we don't, we want to be peaceful, so because we, we make peace with anger, we will never get anywhere. If we make peace with peace, then we will actually find a way to get down, to get our messages out. So I, I really thank you for giving me this time to share this message with you and let you know why and what we are all about. We are Nati Mahuta, we are from Waikato Tainui, and uh, that's who we are. And um, I just really want you to understand that's the story in the Whakapapa, in the history 
of our people today, to our, to our, um, of our marae and the area that we live in. Um, so um, I really thank you everybody for coming and supporting and totokoing our kaupapa today. Thank you very much to Tangata. Thank you very much everybody out there. Everybody out there to support our kaupapa. Thank you very much Tonga, Samoa, all our islands, everyone out there. We all come together as one and uh, thank you very much. We're definitely here to stand off the people. Um, um, can't really stand bullies so we're here to stand off the people against the bullies and um, the outcome um, we hope that the people the, the, the land is returned to the people so that's all we're here for is just to stand off the people and just, just get some solidarity and um, just to show our youth just there's some things are worth fighting for you know yeah I just here to come to talk all the, all the cousins around here and um, just uh, you know just to be around and um, just to help what I can and just be here bro pretty much yeah. hoping for you know what what the mano fino what the tamariki and all the all the people are here for you know to to get the outcome we all know what that is so I'm just here to talk all that bro. Yeah. <laughs> throughout the, the whole kaupapa, whina kupa um, and her hikoi but not only that from my perspective as um, Ngāti Maniapato uh, my tūpuna pēhi tū, tū kōrehu and Rewi Maniapato and the whawhai we had at Orako so I think everything um, relates to you know, all the all reason why we're here um, and not only that I've come to support Pāinia um, I'm here to total for the Kopapa, total for our Fano and um, protect our Finua. Um, I'm here to support the Tangata Whenua um, and to support the iwi um, of Ihu Mātau. Um, I'm also here um, to protest against corporate greed as well as um, the gentrification of the land um, and what it will do in terms of climate change. Um, and I'm hoping the outcome will be that the land, the confiscated land is returned um, to Tangata Whenua and for everything to end peacefully, I hope. Um, we all came here as a family to help protect the land of our Māori Ainga. Um, uh, yeah, actually to learn about uh, more about the land and why that is so secret to our Māori people. Because um, my knowledge is not really good on this Māori um, sacred part. So it's good to come here and actually feel the ancestral like love and everything. But yeah, um, I hope that the government does see that the land actually means something to us, not like a land where they can just build anything over it. There's tradition and culture behind everything. Yeah. I'm here today because I believe um, that mana whenua should be able to tiaki the land as they see fit. And I believe that mana whenua haven't been um, adequately consulted here today. And if I saw this happening to my whenua back home, I'd be doing exactly what Kanya and her cousins, what this mana whenua whanau has done here. So I'm here to totally be in solidarity with them. I just came down to uh, you know be another number in the crowd to uh, try to be part of something bigger and hopefully um, get an outcome where the land is restored to the people that are rightfully um, due to protect it. You know, the ones that uh, understand the land and the ones that are the spiritual guardians of the land. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> For this guy's future. <laughs> <laughs>
over to the Manukau City Council meeting to disrupt their hui, to challenge them not to change the status, and they laughed at us. Now look at the government. Now look at the council. They're running around, scrambling around, trying to figure out how to solve this issue. But I thought, Oma, I guess what I can say is that the beauty about what's happening here is that ko tai mai ngā hoe whā te kautoko, te mana whenua. And we hold the power here. That's why ko tai mai rawa. That's why Jacinda had to make a statement because she's seen the amount of people showed up to this, to this noho whenua. So ngā mihi kia koutou. Ngā mihi, all of you here have come from near and far to support not only Pānia but the whole kāinga. And we're not just talking about the whole kainga, the runanga, whaiti, but we're talking about the mana, ka, the, the mana whenua, our uncles who are, who are the cooks and the hangi tickets. Now that's the mana, that's the mana whenua. Uh, I'm here to show support. You know, I got, I got the flag on to make sure the statement's loud that Samoa is a part of this in spirit. You know, um, you know I'm from Ngati Hamo, I'm, I'm born and bred in, in Auckland, so this has always been like my my heart and this is my people here so we are here to support we got the flags on the manga you know we we ain't tolerating this no more it's 2019 bro it's 2019 it's time for a change and we've been asking we've been protesting for years since the 60s since the 1600s and all that you know as a as a one people so this is us saying this there's, there's no more we're not protesting no more we're protecting get out the way Um, I'm here because I've been living in my own little bubble that I just thought I was alone in but I got here and I found the same people that I thought that I was not alone with because I wasn't alone, I was with all these people. And what was the next question as well? The outcome I'm hoping for is that um, all of us coming together and fighting for this land that we all are a part of just creates a unity between us. Equality is key to keeping everything real, I reckon. And, um, Diversity made our country, yeah, but don't forget we're in our Aotearoa. Alright, right, so keep it clean, keep it green and all day kiwi, yeah! It's cool, it's nice. You don't get this very often, hey, anywhere. Yeah. I like it. I'm all 100% all the way with this lot. All the way. The southern hemisphere, where my people first walked here. A certain code of conduct, prepare for warfare Now in a new way, you know it's all true, mate I rep all terror in more than just a few ways Patriotic, these golden shores, they are got it It's called all terror, like Maui's top not top notch MC This is where the fuck stops for blood clot MC well, We come down here, but, you know, because it's the right thing to do, come down and support uh, you know, we brought a few of our team here. We brought some. Uh, we came in yesterday and brought some supplies, and uh, came again today. And uh, a lot of our people couldn't be here, but they came and donated food, water, and it's just about coming here and supporting the people. Um, so I'm here to support the mana whenua and the kaupapa of what um, is going on here. And I guess um, I'm of Kenyan blood, but I grew up here on, um, in Aotearoa, so I feel very strongly about um, supporting the the people who. So today we're just doing the rounds in the field 
just making sure everyone's fed with snacks and, and fruit and, um, and sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I guess like the ideal outcome oh, would be, it, it would like, I mean, the end of this is you know to have the land back with the mana whenua, but um, at the moment I think everyone just with this like right at this moment everyone's just enjoying themselves and like being well fed and being in each other's presence and feeling their wairua be full. Um, yeah. And what are you hoping the outcome? I hope we win, bro. Right up. Surely we're going to win anyway. Shots us. Indeed. Indeed. Turn it up, turn it up. Kia ora, uh, kia ora tato. Uh, why am I here today? I'm here um, exercising kaitiakitanga, um, something that I've been brought up with. Um, I'm here to support my whanau who are also uri on Ngāti Whātua. Um, and the outcome that I want is I want the land handed up back to our people. Can I go to it? Oh no, it's going to be a big day for us. As our cousins just said, two of our whanau, two of our kaitaki were taken this morning. There was a breach of trust with the police. They said there wasn't any vehicles coming in. We allowed them access to bring in their next crew in good faith. And behind them, there were vehicles towing fencing and other materials to set up their compound at the end of the road to begin destruction. Shame! 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 Our kaupapa moving forward remains peaceful. It remains passive. We will continue to resist colonialism. The confiscation of whenua, the pillaging of tinoranga tiratanga and mana motuhaki, the desecration of wahitapu and the denigration of our environment, our taiao papatuanuku. We will one on one face these wonderful police officers. We will have a seat to maintain our energy. Those of us who understand what a green light is, our green lights will take seat here. They will sing Waiata. They will bring in Raranga. They will bring materials to make poi. They will bring in seedlings to establish Marakai here. Because we are peaceful and we are passive and we have been for four and a half years. We've got Tai Chi at 11 a.m. right here. And I encourage you all to join in because it's important that we maintain our health and our well-being and to keep our wairua and our heart intact. We are here for the long game, not the short game, Fano. So conserve your energy.